Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. All right, so we've got it back on. Uh, let's get you pointed correctly here. We got it back on, and there's a little bit. Oh, hang on here. We got just a little bit of play here, which is fine. Oops, tighter. There we go. Actually, there's no play at all. It kind of had a bit of a taper to it, so uh, it's pretty tight. I think we're just going to leave it like that and see where that leads us. Okay, so as far as I can tell, we're all set to go. And now what we have to do is come up and figure out what our... And I'm going to change uh, positions here for we're you. We're going to... Uh, uh, see if we have see if this disc has 20 thread or 20 teeth per inch on it and let me get a pair of glasses and we're gonna look and see what have we got there's 20 right at the top yeah so then 20 makes it easy Uh, loosen this up. And we literally go from hole to hole. And no calculating at all. One hole is 20. Another hole is 20. Another hole is 20. Oops. And so on. So, what I want to do first is I want to make sure that we are where we are and that everything is the way it wants to be. So I'm going to get a pen. We might be able to get that to grip it. Okay, it's a lucky day. All right, so we've got, there's, whoops, there's 20. We'll come down, we'll touch, we'll do another 20. Touch. Another 20. Oh. You probably aren't seeing that, are you? Okay, let's just get you in closer. Okay. Another 20. There's three, or there's four, five, oops, So, no, we want to go twice around. That's it. Twice around. So, once, twice. Two. Three. Four. All right, so we're set, we're locked. 
we yes we need to lock that we got this locked we'll yes. drop our bit down lock it into position and then take our table and bring it up another we'll just try 30 at first it's a small bit and I don't want to break it All right, we're going to cut our second gear here, or our second tooth. And we're cutting at about a hundred thousandths per cut. And it doesn't seem to be putting too much pressure on that bit. So uh, a bit's nice and sharp. It's a new bit. So uh, we'll go with a hundred. And we have our depth is 400. So uh, four passes and we're there. Hey, Nick Collier here, and I know you're wondering, what the hell is he doing cutting gears with a bullnose mill bit? Yes, and I am kind of going a roundabout way to get there, but uh, if you look close at these gears, and this is an ancient gear. Let's see if we can get you in there. Can you get close? Let's see. Let's bring it in. There we go. Now, look at the gear. It's either really badly worn out, which is possible, or it was cut funny. Now, maybe this is a kind of a gear uh, that got cut, you know, back in the 1800s or something, when they didn't have all the equipment to do it. But uh, it's got an odd angle to it. And, I, you know, I, I hate to say that it's worn out, because usually when it's worn out, there's... You know, there's odd shapes to it. The other thing is, is that, and I want to use the gear. So, and the other thing is, is that, uh, is that the gear itself is going to travel maybe two RPM. So we're not talking about high speed here. We're talking about torque. And uh, so I think this is going to work out okay. We're going to do about four cuts on that uh, on that new gear, straight down, and come in at just a slight angle, and then come in at even a heavier angle and get that semi roundness going. Uh, so follow along. Hey, we're going to have fun cutting gears.
Okay, so we've got our last, uh, at least this part of the tooth cut. Now what we need to do is figure out what angle we want to drop this uh, bit at. It's one it wants to come over and cut the side part of the thread. So, uh, or the tooth. So we will put you on hold for the moment and we're going to go over and measure those other teeth and see what we've got. Okay, so uh, on the other head, or the other uh, wheel, we came in and we went straight in. So now what we want to do is go from the center of that, uh, of the root of that tooth, and we're just going to bring this over till it kind of makes a a contact and then oops we come in and figure out what our angle is now I'm just gonna sit on top of these two teeth and I'm gonna bring this in and bring it over until it till it touches which is right about there and it's a little bit steep of an angle, so we're going to bring it back. And I would say that's just about right. And what do we got? Uh, we've got about 9 degrees. No? Yeah, 9 degrees. Alright, so we'll go over there and adjust the... Bridgeport to nine degrees and see what would come up. Okay. With. Well, I have no idea whether this is going to work or not even but uh, Remember we're traveling at One or two maybe three rpms So everything can be a little bit loose and not have to be too We don't have to be too concerned about it The main thing is is that we uh, is that the gear meshes. And I think we're going to get that. At least one hook. I'm cutting the third half of the tooth right now. So, we're just going to spin around here and cut away. And uh, we'll do it for a little bit and fast forward. And then, uh, and then uh, we'll come back as we get to the end. Okay, so we're uh, coming in and we've, we've kicked our head back this way at eight and a half degrees. And we're coming in and cutting the other side of the gear. Um, then we have one more cut to make. Uh, and we'll get to that in a few minutes. We'll just let you run here a little bit and fast forward. Okay, so we got everybody cut, and uh, now what I want to do is that this, this top edge is just still just a little thick, so I'm going to come in at just a bit more of an angle and trim off, oh, probably the top quarter of that tooth. So we'll, uh, and, and this is all just guesswork, and you know, as I said earlier, we're traveling at 3 RPM, so we can guess. And it's not going to really make that big of a difference. But for now, we will uh, see what we can do about bringing this head in just a little bit steeper. I'll be back. Okay, so now we've dropped the, uh, the head over a little further to 15 degrees 
to cut the top uh, webbing of the uh, of the um, teeth themselves. And basically, what what we're doing is cutting oh maybe the top third of the of the gear. Okay, so we've got the, the one side of the gear uh, trimmed back. So now we're going to rotate the head back uh, to 15 degrees the other way and trim the other side. So uh, you can kind of stay there for a minute. Let's see if we can get this thing to rotate back. Maybe we'll pull back a little bit. We're going to get a little ink down in that. Just so I can see where I'm cutting. Yeah, it looks like we cut about halfway down the the uh, the tooth itself. So we'll work on cutting halfway. Okay, we're down to the last gear, or the last tooth. Uh, and now we need to come in and just break this top edge just a little bit. I'm, I'm thinking come in at about a 45 and just, just even that top edge off just a smidge. Because it's a sharp edge and the other gears have a rounded uh, root. Okay, so now I think what we'll do is get the other gear. Let's bring it down so you can get a, a good bird's eye shot of it. All right. Now we're going to come in with this gear here and notice how the tooth is squared off at the top there. Now, uh, I think once we get that squareness rounded up a little bit, we'll be able to dive back in just a smidge. And we actually, you know what I'm looking at? This tooth is, this gear is running smoothly. It's just that it's a little far away from the root. And uh, the size really doesn't matter. So I'm thinking it might be good to go ahead and put this in the lathe and take a, oh, an eighth of an inch off the top of there. Well, that's for another day. Uh, we'll be back. Okay, Nick Collier here. And, uh, and today we're going to take that one little gear and uh, reduce the size of it. For me, the size doesn't really matter. And, uh, you know, most of this kind of fake it sort of deal is because I'm making it for myself. And, you know, who cares? Uh, as I said a couple of times before, this gear is going to travel about 3 RPM. So... We're not looking for super accuracy. We're looking for a job, a job done. Uh, but what's happened is, is uh, 
is I cut the gears a little bit too deep. So I think what I want to do is take about a, a hundred thousandths out of this. Okay, so we've got it up on the lathe between centers. It's nice and snug. It's ready to go. We're going to come in and we're going to touch off with the bit and then take a hundred thousandths from that. Okay, there's touching. Take it over to zero. took 30. Let's take uh, 50. I'd say that's just about right. Um, all right, pull it off the centers, take it back over to the mill, and we're going to just take these these edges down just a little bit so it has a nice rollover into the other gear. Okay, so we're just going to come over here and we're just taking a, just a random angle off of this. Don't even know what it is. Certainly a little more than that. So you think that we need to take a deeper angle and I'm wondering if just coming further down to the next leg might do it let's see what that's gonna do Just do it. Let's try it at that. One, two.
Okay, now we're cutting the back side of this uh, of the tooth and uh, we'll uh, crank on that for a while. All right, well, uh, it's not the tightest ship in the shipping industry, but uh, it's certainly a functional gear. Um, and I'm happy with it. Uh, it could have gone down a little bit deeper into the, uh, into the uh, root of the gear itself, but um, as it is, uh, you know, this is going to have a little bit of torque on it, but not a huge amount. And let's look at that bigger gear. certainly this one fits better and we'll we'll use this one if we can but this one has a bit of a bind to it too but I have to say you know not bad for faking it and remember we're going to travel three RPM here. So this thing will be spinning maybe, you know, 10 or 15 RPM. So. Hey, this was a fun project. And, uh, and we've got more to do because now we have to apply the gears to uh, uh, to what we want to build. Uh, so, uh, hey, stick with me. We're, we've got a number of videos after this just on this particular project. So, uh, hey, subscribe too because uh, I'll send you a little email when, uh, when I put a new video up. Okay, Nick Collier here, checking out.